Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And if you want notifications for when I upload a tutorial, just click the bell. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Today we're going to be making a sand shovel door hanger. So simple to make. Everything's from Dollar Tree. For this DIY, you're going to need a Dollar Tree plastic sand shovel. Now these are selling out pretty quickly. I was only able to find two, so if you happen to see them, you better grab them when you can find them. You are also going to need some paint. I use the Waverly chalk paint in the color steel, but I would recommend using spray paint instead of this chalk paint. You're also going to need some Dollar Tree decorative nautical rope, and you'll need three packages of it. You will also need one floral pick, one of the little terracotta flower pots from Dollar Tree, some foam, and some twine. I did paint my little flower pot white. Now I'm just threading some twine through the little hole so that way I can secure it tightly to the shovel. Now I'm adding some hot glue to the bottom of the foam and just pushing it into the bottom of the flower pot. Next you'll want to take your floral pick and trim the flowers or the stems shorter. You really only need one floral pick because the flower pot is small. It comes in a two pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And I'm just pushing the flowers into the foam. Now you could add some moss too if you wanted to. There are lots of different ways to decorate these little plastic sand shovels. I made one last year. Um, it was a little bit different size, so I'll link that tutorial in the description box for you just in case you want to watch it. So this is how it looks when I have the flowers added. Now there's my two pieces of twine that I'm going to tie those around the handle just to make sure it's secure. But first I'm going to tie a bow. This ribbon came from Sam's Club. It is the 2.5 inch width ribbon with wire and I'm just tying a double bow and you're also going to want to have a piece of floral wire to wrap it tightly around the center of your bow. You are also going to need some butterflies for your little door hanger. My friend Dawn sent mine to me. I'm not sure where she picked them up, but Dollar Tree does have some cute butterflies. If you can't find them in the floral section, uh, maybe check the stickers. If you cannot find any butterflies right now, another cute option would be bumblebees. After you have the bow made, make sure you go back and fluff the loops. And ribbon with wire does make the prettiest bows because the loops will stand up. Now, I thought at first I was gonna leave one tail up and one tail down, but I ended up pulling both tails down when I attached it to the little shovel. So this is how my bow looks. Next, I am taking my twine, or nautical rope instead of twine, and I am just wrapping the little handle. Now, it will take three packages of the nautical rope from Dollar Tree. You could probably just hot glue it on when you start and then wrap, and then when you run out of rope, glue the end down and start a new package, but I just went ahead and added some glue every few times around the handle, but that's just me. If you cannot find this nautical rope, you could use twine or yarn to wrap your shovel handle. And now I am using Gorilla Glue hot glue to add quite a bit of hot glue to the flower pot. And I am just going to place it on the handle and I'm going to hold it for quite a while so that the hot glue has time to dry. The reason I added the twine inside the flower pot is so that I could wrap the twine around the handle on the bottom, wrap it up at the top, and then tie it in the middle. Now, you could probably, it would probably hold with just the hot glue, but I wanted to make sure that it stayed on the shovel handle. You could use the Dollar Tree plastic flower pots instead of the terracotta, because the plastic ones would be lighter and less likely to fall off. So that's always a thought too. And you might want to go with the plastic, especially if you're putting yours outside. I'm keeping my wreath indoors. So here I'm just tying a knot. And so that's it. We have the little flower pot secure now. And it looks so cute with just the handle wrapped, the little flower pot added. Then of course I had to add the big bow and I just wrapped the wires around the handle, then went to the back, twisted the wires, and then trimmed them off shorter. And so this is how it looks so far, but I found some of this um, tube confetti at Dollar Tree and I thought if I sprinkled it on the bottom, it might look like a little bit of dirt is on the shovel. I couldn't decide if I should use silver or gold, so I ended up going with the gold. So you'll have to let me know your thoughts. Should I have left this um, 
confetti off or is it does it look okay on there so then I also added two butterflies and I just hot glued them both on to hang up your door hanger you could take some wire just thread it through the top of the little sand shovel handle give it a twist and make a loop to hang it up or you could just hot glue some twine to the back just make a loop with the twine and hang it up that way so either way will work because it's not very heavy